Hello everybody and I'm Tina and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Earlier I did a video about this particular book about what I do with my son to help him with his reading being that he's dyslexic and also has dysgraphia and how I use the audiobooks how I use the audiobook and also the hard copy book. But I wanted just to give you an inside look of this book in case you guys was curious on how this book looks on the inside. What I love about this book, this book, even though it's a reading book, but it hits things dealing with language arts, it hits stuff dealing with various subjects. Now it has different themes to look in too. This is just the table of contents. And let me just give you how one of the stories of so this is this is one of the themes what I love about this book is that it have vocabulary power and with vocabulary power it has different words that you focus on and you see it's not that many and it's and then as the child reads this section they know that these are their vocabulary words which are highlighted and it's not too much reading but it's just enough and it lets them know like we're talking about the difference between a realistic story a fictional st story um imaginary different things like that well what i particularly like about this book is that it actually tells you what rating it is like is it realistic fish fiction um it talks about the characters in this section look for characters that have feelings that real people have challenges and problems that might happen in real life that's what i particularly like about this book it gives them focal points and then you can also go to the library if you want and look for another related book related to the same story it has beautiful pictures in it and the font in this book is not too big it is not too small so my son actually listens to this as well as read it and by doing both methods he's actually able to comprehend and and really digest the information much better and at the end of course it always have this think and respond section where you answer these questions and then it has a part about the author who wrote that particular story i like this part too about making connections and how you compare the text and how you can write the text for flyers and have different little activities in which you can do in order to make the connections which helps with reading comprehension and even though this is not a reading i mean a language arts textbook it covers language arts things like prefixes suffixes the root words and it breaks it down that's why i love this book because this is like language arts and reading all in one and i just wanted to let y'all see this and it even instructs you on how to take tests and it's working on and it works on a particular skill and this will be the focus skill and then it starts off with vocabulary power with another story and this is historical fiction and it goes through with the story and then after it is done it talks about the author who wrote the story and of course it has the think and response section so you can really interact with your child with this and then it also has poetry in it so this book is not straight reading not just history not just fiction it has poetry in it it has grammar in it it has language arts it has i mean this it has activities making the connections staying focused it's talk about writing um, dealing with narrative, you can talk to them about narrative um, writings. It talks about um, so many various different things. I just particularly, even though this is a public school book, I like the way, I absolutely love the way this book is put together. So I just want to show you a little bit of what's in this book so that you guys can see why I love this book so much overall because actually i can give him this book and he can do it by himself it talks about fables um he can talk about this book by himself um he can do it by himself he doesn't need me actually i just there as a guide and of course he has the audio book that goes with it and being that this is an older older book um you can find you can get this book like super duper cheap um so you don't have to worry about the cost i think i spent maybe like eight dollars for this from amazon the audio book so it's not expensive and as you know i am on a tight budget so therefore i can't go out and buy all those expensive curriculums so i have to think outside the box so to speak 
So I think overall, if you're looking for something different, something that has reading, language, arts, grammar, um, making the connections, helping them focus, dealing with fictional, drawing the conclusions, this book has it all. It even has plays in it as well where you can act out the plays right, right here. So your child will be getting everything within this one book. So again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. I hope that this review helped you a little bit to see the inside of this book, why I like it so much and why I use this with my son. And I have used this with my daughter as well. Have a good day.